Today I'm going to show you how to draw a saw blade using sawtooth waves. Now, what I what I have in front of me are three different sawtooth waves. You will be able to find these in the description below. Now, I uh, just to show you which which three are they. So, first one is a triangle wave, uh, probably the most straightforward one out of the three. Now, this next one is is a uh, is is an extreme case of a of a triangle wave. Uh, I, it is supposed to be the uh, uh, it, it is it is supposed to be close to a uh, um, a right triangle. Uh, and, uh, and you can see that uh, there are, there are many many gaps that are that are occurring periodically, and uh, and, and those are those are from the undefined values, I believe. If come coming out coming out of uh, if it's not cotangent, it's tangent inverse. I don't want to. I'm not going to pretend like I understand this. Um, now, the, now the next one here is is uh, is how how we get around those undefined values. So this is well, this is this is the same triangle wave that that uh, that this this equation above generates, but but uh, we can't see them so. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna use we're gonna use a different representation of of the of of the sawtooth weight above it. And this is this is this is called a uh, this is called a Fourier sequence or Fourier series. Uh, so I'm taking the first 100 terms. Uh, I'm gonna put a link in the description below to where this came from. This this is from Wolfram Alpha. You'll you'll find it down below, and and so I'm using the first 100 terms uh, because is uh, this is the compromise that I found between number of terms versus versus the responsiveness that I'm going to get from Desmos. First 10 terms, as you can see, yeah, they're yeah, it doesn't look like they they don't look like a uh, convincing sawtooth wave, and uh, if you crank it up to say a thousand, you can you can see that at uh, that uh, this is that this is convincingly a, a sawtooth wave, but I want to keep it down to a hundred. Now to the now to the actual drawing part. Oh, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to span my saw blade to go from um uh, negative four over to over to eight. And uh, and to get the exact value, you zoom in. You can see that if you zoom in, you, you can you can you can see the imperfections on here. That may actually be a good thing, uh, because there's uh, saw blades. Anyways, uh, so this is actually minus three point nine nine, and that. Eight that I was going after is really an eight point zero one. So this is going to be the saw blade that I'm using, and now I'm going to now I want to make a folder to put everything in there. So let's make a folder, call it. Saw plate, and uh, so first I want to have have a have a line running up, around, and, and then coming back down, and uh, so that's so I want to have it actually I want to just to make the math easier I want to go from minus four to eight. That's fine. Uh, I'm not gonna spend too much time on that. So, um, so right, we want a line going up, across, and then back down. So, oh, uh, I want to shortcut this a little bit. Uh, so I, I want to use a variation. I want to use uh, this equation here. It's x to the sixth. I'm experimenting a little bit here. 
plus y to 6 is equal to 1. And uh, you want to, so you want the average between minus 4 and 8, that is 6. So I want to shift this over. Oh, I'm dumb. It's supposed to be. That's 2. Uh, because as you have 8 minus 4, that is 4 divided by 2, you get 2. That's where that 2 comes from. And then uh, we, we want to stretch it by the span of this. So this is, this is from minus 4 to 8. There's 12 in there. So you want to stretch it off by 12. And the bottom term should be to the power of what this one is. You can type expressions. I'm not going to calculate what 6 to the 6 is. Um, and uh, if you want more precision, and uh, because I will be using using the same exponent everywhere, I want to make a. Hang on a minute. I want to make a variable. I want to call it. I want to call it n. So I'm going to replace all this with n over here. Make sure this is an even number. Looks like I messed up here. Oh, uh, let's call it k then. So essentially, Desmos was was uh, freaking out over the fact that I. Um, uh, they they use, they use the same variable twice. Uh, we can use twenty, use whichever one you want, uh, and then and we'll move it up. So we're stretch this y here. This one this one it doesn't really matter what the, what the denominator is. Just the higher you make it. Uh, so if we also want to make it six to the k. Okay, so it becomes that big, and I want to make it down to 2, so we'll bring it down like this. If you want to solve for y, you can. Uh, you need to take the kth root of it. Uh, that is, that's not difficult, uh, but uh, I'll show you something less difficult than that. That is uh, setting y to be greater than 0. Same thing. The same effect there. All right, so now we have have the have the actual saw blade. So now we want the saw handle. I want to put in the same folder, and uh, and we'll be using and we'll be doing something very similar to this. Uh, okay, we're to use K. We'll, all right, so I'll use I'll start with six again for J. Uh, so what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to draw two two rounded two rounded rectangles. Uh, we'll make it round about nine one. Let's do x x minus nine power of j plus. Minus one to power of j, like that one. I want to stretch it up to about let's let's say let's say two and a half. We want to stretch it by one point by a one and a half. All right? If you want to make a rounder, you can. You can use twenty again if you want. Um, I, I made them two separate variables, even though they're both twenty. Uh, uh, just for clarity, actually, I, I I like this a bit rounder, so maybe we can do fifteen. Oh, that's right. I said it has to be an even number. And 
then I'll go ahead and duplicate this and uh, and we'll, I'll make this smaller so I would divide by a decibel so let's divide let's make it point point eight smaller on the on the x-axis actually you know what Ra rather than doing that I'll do you one better. Instead of setting equal to one, we'll make a zero point eight. Yeah, and that'll that'll shrink it. There you go. You can you can adjust this too however you like. Point zero five. Uh, I think what we need to do is uh, we need to take it up to the power of j. Yeah, now, now now this is actually 80% smaller, so if you want to make it half as small, yeah. There we go. You can adjust this to however you want. I'll leave mine like this. Does it look like a saw blade to you? Let me know in the comments. Tell, tell me how ugly it is. <laughs> Alright. So, so if you want, you want to change the color, you can. Uh, make, it, make it whatever color you want. Like hopefully you found found this video useful. If, if you did, let me know. Or or you can make fun of my artwork. That works too. All right. All right. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, see you next video.